hello guys welcome back to my channel key does it all if you are new here i am key thank you for tuning in with me today and if you are already with a diddy thank you for returning <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a pregnancy update on my third trimester and what's been going on with me so far, along with a little bit of a baby haul. <laughs> I know I did one last time, but I'm going to show you guys what I've got from last time all the way up until now. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. So the last update I gave you guys was in my second trimester from weeks 14 to 23. And <laughs> a lot has transpired after 23 up until where we are right now. And I'm going to fill you guys in as much as I can with what I can remember. Um, yeah, so let's get into that. Okay, now, so from week 23 up until now, so we are currently 32 weeks pregnant. When you see this video, we are 32 weeks pregnant. So we are in the home stretch <laughs> and we are getting bigger and bigger. I don't know if you can tell by me sitting down, but I am going to do a belly shot when I get finished telling you guys what's been going on. I'm going to start from 24 all the way up until now. So 24 weeks wasn't much of a difference from 23 um, that I can remember. 25 was the same and all the way up until about 30 weeks. Things that was happening in my first trimester has started to reoccur around week 30. So what I mean by that is that I started to get exhaustion all over again and my sweats came back <laughs> and and I don't really think my sweats ever left but I felt like they left for a little while like they gave me like a little bit of a break where I wasn't sweating so much like I was sweating before <laughs> like I told you guys so it did calm down at least I think it did and now it's picking back up <laughs> like I said I'm exhausted like I was in the first trimester like extremely exhausted like my chair eats me all the time and I be trying not to let that happen but it happens <laughs> and I am tired I am slowing down I am slowing down a lot this space that I have to work with on my body I became very imbalanced <laughs> So bending and you know the picking up stuff and even tending to Jackson has been a lot. But we are managing and we are doing the best that we can. I'm still remaining active in all ways. I rarely do get a chance to sit down because like I said, I have a one year old that stays home and he is extremely busy. Like he is a boy's boy. Like he is busy into everything, a daredevil, he's active in all of that in a nutshell. So anything you can think of what a little boy can do, <laughs> he definitely does that. But what else has been going on? The uncomfortability when I'm sleeping is ridiculous. Like, like I know the last time I told you guys, I favor a side, which is my left side, but even laying on my left side now has become very uncomfortable. So I have to prop my pillows up and I have to sit up like kind of like on an angle like kind of like this when I um go to sleep because laying flat obviously you know is out of breath and you your lungs just feel like they're being crushed which they probably are because baby is growing <laughs> and you know the heartburn has been very very bad like the heartburn and the acid reflux and all that so laying flat on my back is a no-go for me I just cannot do that at all like I mentioned the heartburn and the acid reflux has been extremely bad now you guys there is like nothing that I can take or that I've taken that relieved that type of acid reflux it, it, it doesn't it doesn't relieve it like <laughs> it has not gone anywhere like I try to drink milk and I did seltzer water because I used to do that with my other kids when I had the really bad heartburn. I did the seltzer water and stuff and that did not work this time around. So I just really had to let it run its course so I can feel better. I've gotten acid reflux off of anything. Like it can be water, it can be a piece of candy, it can be pasta, it can be um, a spicy food or it can be non-spicy it can be soup it can be anything like anything literally anything 
things that don't even give you acid reflux or heartburn and it just happened that way for me. I know another thing that I mentioned in my second trimester that has continued into my third trimester is I am still thirsty. Now this time I feel like I am more thirsty now more than I was before in the beginning. I know I said this last time, like there's nothing that can quench my thirst, like I am a fish. When I say I'm literally a fish, like I'm really a fish. I went back to drinking my gallons of water a day and I find that that uh, suffices. But I have been on this Sprite kick lately and I'll, I, I will, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even lie. Like I will drink like two Sprites a day and, but I've been trying to narrow it back because like I said, water quenched my thirst the best and I just have to have the water, but I just have to have my Sprite a little bit too. <laughs> the last thing that I feel like that's been going on, well, the second to last thing that I feel like that's been going on is that I went back to having that like metallic taste in my mouth that I had like in the beginning of the trimester that was that was making me nauseous. Now, I'm not nauseous. I just have a metallic taste in my mouth. And everything that I put in there is just like it has a really bad aftertaste. And so I don't know where that came from, but that started around week 32 and not 32, but 30. Too, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. It's just, it's horrible because everything I eat, it just gives me this bad aftertaste. Okay, so my weight gain and my appetite. I only gained so far two pounds. <laughs> I was already a chunky little thick on girl before I got pregnant, but I've only gained two pounds. After Jackson, I lost about 10 pounds after I had him, but I've only gained two pounds with this whole pregnancy. And I feel like it's because, you know, he's not that big. If you saw my video before with my last update, where at 24 weeks, I was letting you guys know what was going on and my doctor's appointment, stuff like that, and how big the baby is and why he's that big or that small rather, um, go check that out. I'll link that up somewhere in the videos, but well, in this video, um, but I, did not gain much of anything. I usually don't gain a lot of weight in my pregnancies anyway, but this pregnancy, I really didn't gain much of anything. Like I'm seriously, my regular weight with two pounds maybe added of the baby. Like that's it. Like I'm really all baby. <laughs> I'm not, um, I didn't gain anything at all. And then my appetite for the most part is I still don't have a desire. Like I don't have crazy cravings. Like I, I don't have that. The only thing that I've been eating consistently is like the sherbet ice cream. And like I told you guys, I started this Sprite kick and that's just recently. I don't have a super duper crazy craving. When I do desire something like I had one of cheese fries the other day. I ate cheese fries because I feel like if I desire to eat it, I should eat it because I don't eat big. Like I don't have a big appetite in the beginning. So if I desire something, I'm gonna eat it. And that's just how it's been. So my appetite isn't big at all. I'm not always hungry like I thought I would be, like I was with my other boys. Just this go around is different. I think that is all for my update for where I am right now. Lastly, the Braxton Hicks has became a little stronger, which is why I'm also back to drinking more water because you know, if you're dehydrated, your, dress, your Braxton Hicks can feel a little different. And I just don't want no confusion. Like I know what labor pains feel like, but still, I don't want any confusion. I just want to know the difference between labor and Braxton Hicks. And you'll know the difference. Cause I know the difference, but sometimes those Braxton Hicks, when you're really dehydrated, can feel like labor pains and they're not at all. Okay, that is all for that pregnancy update and what's going on with me from week 23 all the way up to week 32. It's not much going on, but 
just except for me growing and looking more pregnant in my face and I got a waddle and you know the few things that I did mention that was happening with me which is kind of what was going on in the beginning it's starting to come back now because it's going towards the end and I don't know why it does that but that's what it's doing so that's that for the pregnancy update I'm going to move right along into what I've gotten for the baby or what was brought for the baby since the last time I showed you guys what I had. So I have a basket with the things in it right here next to me. And if you see me leaning over, I am picking into that basket to get the stuff to show you guys. We are going to start with the gap haul that I did do. When there was a Black Friday sale, I believe, I purchased quite a few things from the gap that I thought that was just so, so, so cute. And I had to have it. So we're gonna start with this hat how cute is this little hat i love these type of hats it's a little knitted hat right and then i got this knitted sweater cute right and he's a spring baby so we'll be you know transitioning and he can wear that for when we take him out for walks. And I got this onesie with the matching pants to go to it. Just some little cute throw off. And I did buy these into, um, not into, I did buy these the size zero to three months because I did want him to have something to wear once he get grows out of newborn. But for the most part, because I know he's gonna be small, and my babies are usually small, so they'll have some time. <laughs> so this little cute sweatsuit with the matching pants, right? Oh, just love these little clothes. I really forgot, even though I had Jackson a year ago, I really forgot how small baby clothes were and how little diapers were because you just go along and you see the size changes and how they how your other kids are growing and then to go back to something that's so small like from the beginning is just like crazy. I also got this sweatsuit and it had, it's a one piece with the footies in it. I thought this was so cute. So that is all that I got from the Gap. I did order two onesies with the matching hats from Kite Baby. Ugh, let me get them. <clears throat> And they're so cute, so, so cute. I did order these in the size newborn. So I have a black, black one, black one. And you guys know how I feel about the mittens. So we got these to flip over and cover up his hands. Excuse me. Then you have the matching hat. To go along with it oh excuse me and then i also got the emerald green one i thought it was cute i've never really buy green but i thought this was super cute and that with the matching hat <laughs> the next thing that i'm about to show you is what his grandma his mama bought for him for Christmas and it is so cute y'all <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the cloud island muslim blankets these are so 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 cute if you guys hear Jackson crying in the background that's because he's with his older sister and he's getting sleepy because it's nap time <laughs> so back to the hall and she also got him these socks. I told you guys I'm I'm loving this color. This color and this color. And these are uh look like little foxes. They're so cute. It's this color, solid color, and then you have the striped colors on the back. Which is also from Target. Then the burnt cloths. I tell you guys, you could never have enough of these. Um, and then she got him some sleepers, and these are all in newborn. 
and I believe this was a three pack. So it's this, and this is the Cloud Island brand. Yep, Cloud Island brand. The two way zipper. Oh, how you love these. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how you would love these. And then there's a green one. And there is also a green and white one, which is super, super cute. In the same way with the mittens, flip over. You don't gotta worry about nothing extra. Then she also got him some more. Hold on one second. Ugh. She also got him some more onesies, and these are the Gerber brand. And these are also a newborn. So it's this one. And I tell you, these things are a lifesaver, especially for the beginning of the pregnancy. I mean, pregnancy, beginning of their life, because there's not many options for clothes, and they just, they're, they're gonna need these, because they're gonna be sleep a lot, and you're gonna be home for the most part, and it's cooler outside, so yeah. These, this one, and she got him some onesies, which is super, super cute. This one matches the little sleeper, and these are all, everything is a newborn. Got this. She got this. And they have the, those uh, onesies have the sleepers to go with them. But you can mix and match if you want. This one. And this one. I'm <laughs> very good, but super cute. And this one. Now she also did get him um, some things for when it, it is a little warmer. And these are in three to six months, which is also super cute and this is like a little one piece with the sleeves out and the little feet it snaps in the middle I love that and then another one something cute right or you could just take these as he grow a little bit bigger you could take these and put like a, a long sleeve onesie t-shirt under it and wear it like that okay so that sums up the baby haul as well i think we have a good head start on some clothes for him i do have other clothes that was given to me and those are all washed and ready to be put away in his drawer and stuff like that i think i am going to do a video with uh baby prepping and me nesting so you guys can see what i'm doing with his space and the little space that i do have um it's not much, but I still want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing with that space um, and what I'm doing with his things. We have a lot of things to do in preparing for baby boy's arrival. <laughs> and I am so excited and cannot wait for him to get here. So I cannot wait to kiss his little face, his little lips, to see what he looks like and all of that. But as of right now, I think we have a good head start on what he does have to get us going so we can continue to purchase as he grows. But I do want you guys to let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a week by week from all the way up until from now, all the way up until I deliver, or you guys want me to cram some weeks in and then give you guys a delivery video. Just let me know what you want to see. I do know that I have a What's in My Hospital Bag um, video that I am going to do for you guys and what's, what I'm going to be putting in baby's bag. If I'm taking a baby's bag, all of that <laughs> in a nutshell this is baby number five so you guys already know that i know what to do i am a veteran at this thing <laughs> so i already know what i'm gonna do what i'm not gonna do and i'm gonna share that with you guys but that is all for today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and if this is the first video that you clicked on on my channel what's up how you doing thank you for watching today and if you like what you see, like I said, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you never, ever miss an update from me. Because it's not too late to be a part of the family. And it's not too late to be a part of what's going on with this baby. <laughs> so, until next time, bye-bye.